Tell us a little about Jim Allison. Well, I've been a friend of the bands for over 10 years, I guess. Played on the uh, Texas Highway out in Great Train Road. I guess I met you guys 10 years ago, at least. Um, at least. And uh, would sit in, like, you know, whenever I have a night off, which is about once every two years or something. Or if you guys work in an off night or something. And uh, now we're in the Blues Express together. Kind of exciting. Soon to be. And soon to be uh, the, the, the big band. The big yeah, band, the big as we band. like to call it. Yes. The big loud band. We also do a, 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 an loud acoustic band. version, of, which is called GTR Unplugged. So if people see that, come and see that. I'm sorry about New CD. Oh, CD. Well, they have five CDs. Road yeah. song. We have five of them out. Newest bunch of road songs. Yes. And we're just about sold out. We have about 75 copies left, and after that, there will be no more road songs. Because we're working on a new one. When? And, uh, we don't know when it's coming out, because we're just working on it as we can. Got to find the money back before it. We'll put it out. Anybody interested? Gonna rob a train. Let us know. Anybody yeah, yeah. have money? Money. We need money. And you know, investing in, in a rock and roll band is really a sound investment. It's very I mean, you know, why do a fly by night thing like real estate when you could invest thousands of dollars in a rock and roll band? It's something that's never going to make any money. For that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a perfect tax write-off. It's the write-off. Exactly. We need a really this, wealthy person sound. who understands that the odds are 10,000 to 1 that it's going to hit a national label. If you invest in our CD, the IRS automatically feels sorry for you. 